What's up guys, thank you for watching another video. Today is actually a pretty exciting video. You guys probably already see by the title and thumbnail, but today we are getting a new steering wheel for the GTR. I actually showed you guys this box a few months ago when I revealed the exhaust. I didn't open it, I told you guys it was a surprise, but finally we're gonna open it, unreveal it, and show you guys my new steering wheel. I'm so excited. I actually don't like this red on the steering wheel. This is a black edition steering wheel. Um, if you guys didn't know, the GTR is a black edition. It comes with these seats, the Recaro seats with the red accents. And also comes with like red accents right here, red accents right here. And then obviously with the steering wheel with the red accents. It's not bad, but I like like all black steering wheels or obviously Alcantara steering wheels like my E92 has. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up selling this one. So if you guys want this, it's probably gonna be for sale. Only 20,000 miles on it. It's pretty much like brand new. Hit me up if you want a steering wheel for the GTR. It's a black edition one. It has red accents. It's pretty sick if you have like a red interior car, so. Honestly, I think a steering wheel is like my favorite mod to put on a car. It's like something you always see every single day, you touch every single day. It's kind of like the main thing of the car when you're driving, so I'm excited, I cannot wait. Also, shout out to everybody who hated the green wheels. <laughs> I posted last video and it got so much freaking hate, the most hate i ever seen on a YouTube video. I already told you guys I wasn't going to keep the green. It was just in the meantime because I had them green. Might as well just throw them on, see how they look. Make some content, take some cool photos. But yeah, obviously I'm not keeping the green, guys. I do not like it. It's not bad. It's just not my style. I already told you guys from the start I wanted to keep the all black looking GTR, but the green's not bad. It definitely stands out. <laughs> Some of the comments were pretty ridiculous saying I riced it out and all the people saying oh my god your tires are too fat Guys I was going for this look the fat tire meaty tire setup like the drag racing setup to handle the power that we're about to make Hopefully very soon. I also ordered these in carbon fiber so those should be coming soon I'm gonna have the homie Manny wrap these black and black out everything and we're dropping off these green wheels to bulletproof powder coating to powder coat them all a new color probably this week maybe tomorrow even I'll drop these off so yeah this might be the last day with the green wheels I know a lot of you guys are gonna be happy <laughs> dude it looks sick I don't know why a lot of you guys didn't like it anyways I'm gonna do this inside the car because it's way too hot outside there's actually like a fire today too so the sky is all ugly and orange. I don't know. This is from a company called Dyna Performance. They got in contact with me when I first got my GTR. And they told me they can make me a full custom steering wheel. Anything I want, any colors I want, any material I want. So we did it. We got it in the mail a few months back. I just haven't had the time to install it. But finally, we're going to get it installed today. And enough talking. Let me reveal this steering wheel to you guys. I know you guys really want to see it. But here it is from the homies Dyna Performance. Oh my god, dude. I actually haven't seen this in a long time since I first unboxed it. <laughs> but here is the new steering wheel we got for the GTR. It's literally perfect. Everything I wanted. And it's going to look so freaking good in this car. Of course, I had to go with the Alcantara suede. We had to do red accents, of course, with the red stripe to match the red interior. And then we could not leave out the carbon fiber. Dyna Performance makes these crazy carbon fiber steering wheels. All handmade and literally everything's 100% custom. I literally built this from scratch, guys. I told them carbon fiber right here, carbon fiber right here. Alcantara with the red stitching, red stripe. And also we did the flat bottom. So the bottom is flat and the top is also flat. So we got a flat top, flat bottom. Unlike this one, it's all round. So this one just looks a lot more aggressive and it's so freaking beautiful. It's gonna look so freaking clean. I cannot wait to install it. I'm telling you guys, steering wheels are like my favorite mod because you're holding it every single day. And to drive with it, it just feels like you're driving a brand new car. <laughs> Dyna Performance absolutely killed it. I can't stress enough how nice the steering wheel is. And my homie Gustavo actually ordered a steering wheel from them too for his Supra. His Mark V Supra. I'll probably meet up with him this week so I can show you guys his steering wheel, but he got pretty much the same setup. I think he did leather instead of suede, but he also has the carbon fiber with the red stripe and it looks so sick in his Supra. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Dyna Performance. They literally killed it. I'm gonna leave their Instagram right here and I'm also gonna leave it down below with their website. They make steering wheels for all kinds of cars, not just GTRs. They do BMW, Volkswagen, Honestly, any steering wheel that you guys want to do, they can make it. Like I said, they also did my homie Supra. And everything is 100% custom, like I said. They also offered me the LED light-up steering wheel, which is also cool. Maybe I'll do it down the line, but I wanted it very clean and sleek. But they can do that. 
They could also do that jet fighter steering wheel with their cut like my E92. Any material, forged carbon fiber, dry carbon fiber, suede, Alcantara, leather. So perfect, dude. I'm so excited. You can go on their website and literally customize your own steering wheel on the website and see a preview of it right there and then. We're gonna go to the homie Manny's house, or Sick Wraps, the guy who wrapped my E46. He's gonna help me install the steering wheel for me and get this thing finally on the car. I'm so excited. Guys, look how dirty this charger is. What do you think he did? <laughs> he went off-roading. That's crazy. Oh my God, bro. like the desert or something oh she has a big ass dent too i don't know to be honest i'm ready to get my car wrapped oh you got the wrong plane right? <laughs> i got the sick wrap wheel you know look at his little logo <laughs> all right guys no more red steering wheel <laughs> manny where's your car at i don't want to talk about it it's almost done is it gonna gap me? It's never gonna be done. It's gonna <laughs> gap you for sure. It's gonna train you. Hopefully. It is. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. Thousand horsepower. Thousand horsepower. Three thirty-five. Maybe. Built motor. Everything. We're gonna unbolt the battery so that the airbag doesn't pop out on accident. Cause we have to take out the airbag. It's kind of sketch. Dude, it's so clean. It's the M color stitching. The M colors. Imagine I did M colors. Oh my god. On the GTR. Yeah, I Look at this Tesla. He's wrapping. I know, guys, look at this. This is all from that fire I was talking about. There's ashes everywhere in the freaking air. Alright. Alright, guys, so it's pretty similar to like BMW steering wheels. There's just two. This is like the worst tool. Like, <laughs> there's like two little torque screw things on the sides. The airbag should come out. And then I think it's like a 19 bolt. And then the steering wheel comes out super easy. If you guys want steering wheel changes, you know, Sick Grabs does it all. <laughs> Wait until this shit is done first. <laughs> All right, guys, you got the airbag out. Now you have to disconnect it. Find out how to do that. <laughs> Imagine just exposing your face. Okay. That's why we disconnected it, because you never know, bro. That shit will be all bad. All right, it's all out. Right, we cannot fuck with that. that yeah, not it, turn it. The whole fucking shit's going to fuck. Yep, now we got to transfer all the trim and all that good stuff. We're almost there. Oh, she's going to look so sick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cut the video. Guys, if anyone wants this, I'm gonna sell it. So, black edition steering wheel. It's like brand new. Dude, look at the difference though. That shit's gonna look so sick. It's gonna feel good too. I know, that's what I said. It's gonna feel like I'm driving a new car. It's beefy. I'm driving a new GTR. I'm like, got uh -huh. Manny with the steering wheel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there. That shit looks clean. Dude, I wonder if I could gloss carbon that trim out. Yeah. All, they do is put, all they put is circle over it. Yeah, that'll be sick. And then it'll match this. Maybe even gloss this out. The whole wing. So it's like glossy carbon. I forgot to mention. This red stripe literally matches my brake calibers perfectly. <laughs> like literally perfect. Damn. Oof. Bro, it looks badass. Yeah, it's finally all black, dude. Besides yeah. the red accents, but... That was so much red. We had this thing for like months. <laughs> never installed it. <laughs> I know, guys. I've had it for so long just sitting in my garage. But since I we finally got it on. Yeah, no, it has been that long, huh? Yeah, since I wrapped 346, we had it. I've had that steering wheel just sitting. You know how hard it was not to install it, but we finally got it installed. Damn. Bro, I don't even want to touch it. I feel like my hands are dirty. Bro, that's how it looks good. <laughs> I want to mess it up, bro. I want it to be like this forever. Dude, I love the car and fiber. I've never had a car and fiber steering wheel. I love how there's so much like little red accents everywhere. It looks so badass. Damn. Shout out to Manny. Tech right here. <laughs> That's probably my favorite mod so far. It looks so clean. Dude, it literally completely changes the interior. You think it gives you horsepower? Bro, that's like 50 horsepower. <laughs> Ooh. It's gonna feel like I'm driving a brand new car. Have you ever driven it? Not your guitar, but... Not the slow one. We're trying to make sure it's straight because unlike BMW, <laughs> it doesn't have lines to like line it up. On BMWs, there's like two lines that you line them up together. Yeah, and it'll keep the steering wheel straight. Like adhere it to the left. This one, you gotta just kind of like. Just gotta guess. I told you. Man, that shit does work, dude. Bro, it's really fast. I don't know 
Why? It's not even tuned yet. GT R Manny? <laughs> Maybe. Here, bro. There's no way, dude, because I've driven this fucking GTR. Oh, Manny said he doesn't think it's stuck. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it has like a fucking tune. Bro, that's what everybody says. Like, it has to have a tune, dude. It has to. There's everybody no thinks it's tuned already, but it's not. It's stuck. Look at the lights on! It would there would be no check engine light. Yeah, well that's because you put on the fucking downpipe. I don't know, dude. That's I think it's reason. completely stuck. So the whole time while I was over here working on his car, Nick says he's eating his fries. Yeah, when does Chick-fil-A only give you that much fries? Damn it, Nick. Alright guys, after how long? <laughs> like freaking 20 attempts. Oh, uh, we finally got the wheel straight. It took longer than we thought, but no, the install was quick. It's just lining everything up, making sure it's perfect. We had to like test drive it a couple times, but it's perfect. It looks sick. Alright guys, let me know how this looks. I actually got a new GoPro last week. And I want to test it out. It sucks that it's already a little dark out, but we're going to try out the new GoPro. But I want to drive the car around with the new steering wheel. See how it feels. <laughs> the steering wheel feels so good. Crazy, it's my first carbon fiber steering wheel I've ever had. Now that I got this new GoPro, I'm going to start doing more point of view videos. I know you guys want to see those. And we should be going full bolts on this week and getting it all tuned. So it should be very, very fast. And those point of view videos are going to be a lot of fun. But once again, guys, shout out to Dyna Performance for this custom steering wheel. It looks so good. And shout out to Mandy for helping me install it. later all right guys we just teleported to my dad's work some of you guys are familiar with this place if you aren't though this is my dad's hangar he works on helicopters and all this crazy stuff but we came here because we're gonna take off these green wheels put back on my stock ones just for like a day or two hopefully drop these green wheels off at bulletproof powder coating have them powder coat them a new color and put them back on the gtr yes yeah, for the people who didn't like the green it's your lucky day because <laughs> today is the last day with the green this is the last time you guys will see it with green wheels all right guys we put the black ones back on I do miss the all black looking GTR. <laughs> For now, we're just gonna leave this here on the stock wheels. Once they're done powder coated, bring them back here, put the new ones on, and then uh, the car will be completely different. All right, we got all the green Hulk, Monster Energy, <laughs> the Grinch wheels in the car. I'm kind of sad, guys. This is the last time they're gonna be green. I'm never gonna go back. And <laughs> probably the last time I buy green wheels, to be honest. But they're sick, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna miss them, but. On to the next color. I still haven't decided, so again, comment down below what color do you guys think that Bulletproof powder coating should powder coat these wheels. I'm thinking black, I'm thinking like a dark, dark gunmetal, almost black, or maybe bronze, I don't know. I have no idea, so let me know down below on the black GTR what color wheels should we do. Uh, feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets My nigga died at only 25 I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26 Shit